Assalamualaikum my dear students. Hope you are well. Bade gaya sabal my dear Allah. Welcome to another video. Samskar. This is Muhammad Indadulha, assistant teacher of mathematics, national level university. Dear students, dear students, today I am going to conduct a math class of class two. Our today's topic is odd and even numbers part one. In this part, I have written ten numbers. I have written ten numbers. and i'll show you how to separate the odd and even numbers from this number and i have written here all the numbers from 5000 to 10000 from 5000 to 10000 between this two number from this between this two number i have taken this numbers as uh, in your short syllabus uh, five numbers 5000 to 10000 are included so i have selected these numbers okay dear students and our today's lecture is 6 our today's lecture is 6 there is no homework in our today's class in the next class of this topic you will get the homework okay dear students so let us see at first how to arrange uh, or how to separate the numbers odd and even we can write solution odd i have written here odd and here i'll write even i'll, I'll write even the students to separate the numbers into odd and even at first we have to know when we can say a number is odd or a number is even the students you know there are 10 digits in math there are 10 digits in math these digits are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 8 there are 10 digits here among these 10 digits five digits are odd and five digits are even so you can separate here this 10 digits odd odd digits are 1 3 5 7 9 you know this and even here even digits are 0 2 4 6 and 8 so we can say a number is said to be odd if the unit place of a number is 1 3 5 7 or 9 conversely we can say a number is said to be even if the unit place is 0 2 4 6 and 8 so now we can separate the numbers into odd and even so look at the first number here first number is 5067 here the unit place is 7 unit place is 7 Now see, seven is in odd. Seven is in odd. So we can say five zero six seven is an odd number. So we can write five zero six seven in odd. Now see the next number here. The unit place is three. The number is nine eight six three, and the unit place is three. So we can see here where is three in even or odd. Yes, this is in odd. As three is odd, so the number containing three in unit place will be odd. So this number is also odd. So we can write here nine, eight, six, three in odd. Now see the next number. Here the next number is eight five seven zero. Here unit place is zero. Now see where is zero? Here is zero. Zero is in even. as 0 is in even so the number containing 0 in the unit place must be even so we can write here 8570 in even 8570 now go to the next number in this number the number is 6475 here 5 is in unit place 5 is in unit place and we know the number 5 is in odd the digit 5 is odd so the number containing 5 so the number containing 5 in unit place is also odd so we can write here odd 
seven five. Then see the next number. Next number is nine zero three eight. Nine zero three eight. It means nine thousand thirty eight. Here unit place is eight, and you know that. Eight is in even. The digit eight is in even, so the number must be even. So we can write below even nine zero three eight. Now go to the next number. That is five seven nine two. Five seven nine two. Here the unit place is two, and we know the digit two is even. So is even. So. The unit place of the number five seven nine two is even. It means the number is even. So we can write this in even five seven nine two. Okay, dear students. So now go to the next number. That is six seven six zero three seven six zero three. Here the unit place of the number is three. So we can say three is here and three is odd. So As three is odd, it means the unit place of the number seven six zero three is odd, so the number is odd. So we can write here seven six zero three. This is odd. Now go to the next number. Here the next number is seven nine six four. Seven nine six four. Here is four is the unit place. Four is in the unit place, and we do. Four is even. Four is even. As four is even, so we can say the number is also even. So we can write here seven nine seven nine six four. This is even. Now go to the next number. Next number is eight zero seven nine. Eight zero seven nine. Here, see, nine is in unit place, and we know nine is odd. So the number containing nine in unit place must be odd. So we can write eight zero seven nine is in odd. Then the last number for this today's question here, last number is nine six three six nine six. Three six. Here unit place is six, and we know the number containing six is in unit place will be even as six is even. So we can write here the number nine six three six must be even. So this is even. The students, it means that I have separated. These ten numbers. I have separated these ten numbers into odd and even numbers. I hope you have understood how to separate the numbers into odd and even. Okay, dear students. So keep practicing at home. Avoid your parents. Stay home. Stay safe. See you again. Assalamualaikum.